weather getting warm, a lot of us getting excited about baseball. The smallest of us were busy over this past weekend. Let's see the beginning of the baseball season on Hilton Head Island. Good evening, I'm Beth Petro. I'm presently the Hilton Head Baseball Association um, administrator as well as a board member. Um, the HHBA has been on Hilton Head for roughly 45 years. This will be our, actually this will be our 46th opening night. Um, several years ago, one of our long-term umpires passed away and we decided last year to name today the Ronnie Moore opening day. So today will be our second annual Ronnie Moore opening day. Um, we're very excited to have several members of the local community here uh, during that ceremony, as well as local um, legend Dan Dreesen. Um, our mayor will be with us this evening, as well as our board and all of our teams tonight. Uh, this year we have 19 teams for the HHBA, uh, representing children from ages 5 through 12. And uh, this past season was the first time since 2012 that all of our um, all-star teams made it to the districts and uh, were successful in uh, winning their district tournaments. So that was uh, quite an accomplishment. And of those teams, the Dixie Boy teams went on to win, uh, to win the state tournament and compete in the Dixie Boys World Series, which was held in Louisiana this past summer. So they'll be recognized this evening as well. The HHBA has been very successful. Um, there has been teams that have progressed through our all-star seasons and obviously our all-star teams are picked from our local rec leagues. The 2018 uh, machine pitch team went on to be runners-up in the World Series that year and several of those players remained in the program including uh, winning the state tournament as Ozone players for 2012, 2021 um, and going on several of those are Dixie Boy players as well. So our program really does run the gamut from five years all the way up to, in some cases, 16 year olds for the local community. The HHBA has been very impactful for my family personally. My son, who is currently 13, has been a member of the HHBA since he was four years old. He's a member of the 2018 team um, and is now, he has played through the HHBA through his elementary and middle school years. Um, our family is very involved in the, the organization as well. My father does run the, the concession stand, which is known as Pop's Place and has for several years. Um, so the, the community and being here on Crossings Park has been a very large part of my family through many, many years, almost 10 years now. So anything that can be done with youth sports is, is definitely important to the community, but especially youth baseball, which has grown exponentially in the last few years, is very important to us as a family. Hi, I'm Kevin Thompson. I've uh, coached here at the Hilton Head Baseball Association, actually coaching two different teams, an 8U team and a 10U team. We're extremely excited about opening day today. Uh, a lot of work has gone into it. These kids are super excited. We've been practicing hard all week and for the last couple weeks, actually. Uh, but uh, we got we got a lot of good people out here to help. Uh, uh, Hilton Head Baseball Association board is uh, top notch. We've been doing a lot of great things over the last year to get these fields ready. So uh, kids are super excited about tonight and looking forward to a big season this year. Uh, I also own Summit Services Heating and Air Conditioning. We're a big sponsor here. Uh, we're sponsoring the, the entire 10U league, uh, and we're super excited to keep, uh, you know, helping these kids uh, become good young men and learn a lot about the game of baseball. Uh, it's a huge thing for us. Our kids are highly involved in, in athletics, and you know, it means a lot to me. I grew up uh, playing in Hilton Head Baseball Association uh, as a kid, so uh, you know, being able to give back to that and, and help kids along the way and is from, from t-ball age all the way up and be able to see him grow and excel is a huge part uh, of what we do and we want to be able to keep giving back to that so we're extremely excited to do so. Up next we're going to talk a little high school baseball already they're getting started and a big winner early on in the season. Justin Jarrett will have that story when we come back. 